How is it going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing a special unboxing video. A while back, I went to Big Bad Toy Store and looked at their Marvel Legends action figure, um, how shall I say, page. And I was scrolling through, and I see Marvel Legends, Marvel's Frogman. And part of the Stilt Man build a figure, I thought, okay, it's been a while. I used to be into action figure collecting in a big way. And I had uh, a lot of action figures. And when the build a figure came out, I think Galactus was the first one. Oh, yeah, the hunt, the fun, building the figures. You know, Really, it was a lot of fun, but a lot of money as well. And after a while, I got out of action figures. Recently, with everything going the way it is, I kind of was looking at action figures as a hobby again, but I don't want to deep dive in the way I used to. Well, I saw the Marvel Legends build a figure for Stilt Man, and Stilt Man was a uh, offbeat kind of daredevil type villain who I actually really liked. And the figures, I'm not too familiar with what's going on in the Spider-Man universe, but in the end, hey, Frogman, that caught my eye. And overall, for $134.99 plus the $4 flat rate shipping, I pre-ordered the figures. And if well, I was going to do, put it all together, and I decided I'm going to do this unboxing video because these figures came in, and why not just do an unboxing video? Something different than what I normally do. So, let's get to the unboxing. Hello, viewers. Brad Pryor, Barstool Entertainment. I'm doing an unboxing for the Stiltman Build-A-Figure. And as I said in the preamble, I've been into action figures a big, for, in a big way, but then I got rid of most of my collection, maybe keeping a few pieces. Well, at Big Bad Toy Company, I stumbled upon this Build-A-Figure, and I thought, wow, okay, kind of bored, not a lot of things to do, with the pandemic so I just sort of bought the build a figure and it came today and I'm opening I just cut open the box and I'm gonna show you the contents here and the build figure involves multiple figures and the first one I'm pulling out is Peter B. Parker. He has the head, which is a great place to start, I guess. Then there is Miles Morales, who has the, like, cowling for the uh, stilt man. the Hand Ninja, and he's got the legs. There is the Prowler figure, and he has an arm and some other things for Stilt Man. Gwen Stacy, she has the torso, which is a good one place to start when you build a figure. And then the Peter Porker Spider-Ham figure, which is interesting. And then the figure I actually may keep out of the set is the Fabulous Frogman. Now, the reason I might keep this figure is all the other figures I'll probably sell as individuals. And I used to do this when I did build the figures. I would, 
buy the complete set, build the figure, keep a few figures I liked, sell off the other figures, and maybe if the build the figure was not that great, I would sell that too. It was just kind of a hobby and I enjoyed action figures. Now I'm not going to get back into it as deep as I used to, but it's still something to do. Again, I'm a little bored with this pandemic, so putting together a action figure is a good way to pass the time. So I'm going to take everything apart, take out the figures, and film building the figure as well, and put it all together in this video, and hopefully it's entertaining. Now, the first character you want to start with is Gwen Stacy. And she has the torso, which is important to build a figure. And let's see if I can open this box up here. If you look on the back here, there's the Build-A-Man figure diagram. So, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, because I used to be into doing Build-A-Figures. I go buy just a set of figures so I could build the figure. Sometimes I cared about the build the figure, sometimes I didn't. Other times, you know, but the figures pop out pretty well. And this is Gwen Stacy as like a version of Spider Woman or Spider Man. And then her Spider-Woman head, oh, I guess you can take her normal head off here, I'll do this off camera, I don't want to break the figure, well, maybe not, well, anyway, I don't want to break the figure trying to pull the head off, so, got this, whoa, other head here. And then you got a different set of hands here, which they tape down. You know, no matter how eco-friendly they try to make packaging, Oh, there's one hand, there's another hand with the tape. No matter how much they try and make packaging eco-friendly, they sort of fail. And then there's the spider ham, which is actually kind of cool. His, you know, his head moves. Get him a little closer here. Woo, he's flying. And then there's the torso of Stiltman. I'm going to clear the packaging off here. Next character I'm going to open up is Miles Morales because he has this cowling in there. And there we go. Now Miles Morales I'm somewhat familiar with a very popular character, which is great. Pop him out. Yep, 
Now, kind of with these characters, they now are the accessories are getting more advanced, like an extra head or something like that. Give it a little more play value. And, wow. Okay. Sorry, I'm taking this off camera, but I'll take out Miles's extra hands here. I don't know if you can see them. This is the cowling for Stiltman figure. Wow, they've really Spider-Man that they popped in there. Wow. Yeah, I got it out. And it's supposed to replace his other head. I'll set him aside with Gwen Stacy. And then the Stilt Man figure. There's like a hole in the back here. And you pop this on. That fits in the hole. There we go. I got it in. Got it in there. Then there is Peter B. Parker. Sort of like Slacker Peter, I guess. Man. And he's got the stilt man head, which I'm gonna just pop out here. Oh, and put on to this stilt man figure. Wow, this is. Anyway, I took uh, stilt man off, and this is Ben Parker, or Park Peter B. Parker, or Slacker Spider Man, I guess. Or mismatched shoe Spider-Man. Yeah, I'm not very familiar with the Spider Universe these days. And then he's got the head at least coming out easier than Miles Morales. He's got a soda bottle. And two pairs of hands. So that's this figure. I'll set him aside with all his parts here. Still don't want to try and get the head on. I got the cowling to stay on, but the head, yeah, that might be one of those where you got to heat it up a little bit. You don't want to break it or force it. Yeah. Anyway, next figure, the Prowler. Now, I'm not real familiar, again, with Spider-Man, somewhat familiar with a few of the characters. It's been a while. Prowler is actually an old character, which is interesting. There he is, all menacing like. And he's got an arm, a briefcase. And another hand for the stilt man. Now, 
this arm. Well, the propeller side pops into here. Well, that was a lot easier than to get the head on. And then the briefcase. goes into here and then you got the extra stilt man fist here and the head's supposed to go on here but so far nothing now we've got the frog man okay this is why I was really kind of excited about this it's weird but the frog man is an old villain spider-man villain kind of weird they kind of went through phase in Spider-Man when I was buying it where they're coming up with all these weird different villains with kind of animal themed powers. This is actually a really kind of cool figure. I'm probably going to keep them. I mean, most of the figures that I'm un pulling out today, like um, Prowler, I'm probably going to wind up putting them on eBay to kind of recoup some of my money. But Frogman, I think I'm going to keep. And he's got a couple extra hands here extra hand for stilt man a gun for stilt man and the other arm for stilt man and hopefully I got this right here Pop this arm in the stilt man. And this is the hand where I don't want to bust anything. The gun would go in. But I'm not going to put the gun in. So far I've got stilt man almost complete except for the head. Is the hand ninja. I probably should show it. The hand ninja before I rip it out. And he's got weapons and hands. Ooh, and it. Eh, it's not a bad character. Yeah, opening him up here. Pull him out. He's got the legs for Stilt Man. And it looks like a display base. Which is interesting. But I'm going to pop out the hand ninja here. Who on the back has sheath for the sword there you go that goes right in there and extra hands and two sides And there you go. I don't know if you can see the two sides in the hand here, but I'm going to set him aside with his extras. And now I'm going to pop on Stilt Man's legs here. And I think I've got the correct leg. I don't think it matters here. Right or left, it don't matter. 
Ah, sorry for taking it off camera a little bit. But now, you got Stilt Man's legs. Sorry for pause. If you haven't noticed and I edited properly. But I had to make sure Stilt Man's legs got on a little more tight. And let's see if he can stand. Oh, he's wobbly. I understand why they gave you a base. There you go. The base helps. And Stilt Man is standing. Now I gotta figure out how to get the head popped on. And I'm gonna hit pause for that. And then I'm gonna reset up the figures here. And you can see the display of figures and Stilt Man. Hey, I've got a nice hero shot here of the six figures and Stilt Man complete. How I got Stilt Man's head on was simply I did off camera is I took the head and I microwaved some water to get it warm or actually get it hot and then I put the head in a plastic bag and I soaked it in the water for a minute or so and got the head really warm and got the plastic really warm and then popped the head back onto Stilt Man and now it fits. And that case has, that actually opens and shows some money. I'm not going to take the figures down because they actually fall over. And I'm probably going to keep the Frogman figure and definitely keep the Stilt Man figure because I like it. Uh, the other five figures are probably going to go up on eBay at some point. Uh, I probably should leave a link to my eBay account if I post this. It's going to be a little bit before I actually do. And what I do is I package the figures in a box and I send them first class mail if it's light enough under 14 ounces and most figures even in box are but I'm Brad proprietor of Barstool Entertainment I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for stopping by hey viewers Brad proprietor of Barstool Entertainment doing a bonus sort of unboxing because it is an action figure related unboxing. Uh, I had this figure a long time ago. I sold it off, but on eBay, an opportunity came for me to buy it relatively cheaply and affordably, and I jumped on it. And it came the same day as my Stilt Man build figure, which is really good timing. So I'm going to open this up and show you what I bought. Great packaging, wrapped in paper towel. Freaking awesome, huh? Hopefully it's in great shape still. Eh, it's a little dinged up. And no head. This is the original build figure Galactus. Ah. Head, head packaged separately here. Eh. A little warped, but for what I paid, I'm happy to have the figure back. And got the head on. Oh yeah, Galactus stands majestically. Awesome. 
and I'm happy to get this figure and it'll be added to my collection not the greatest shape but for what I paid for it worth it I'm Brad proprietor of Barstool Entertainment reminding you if you like this video hit the like button if you like this type of video I don't normally put them out in a lot but hit the subscribe button I put a lot of videos out as always Thanks for stopping by.